Hello everybody, welcome to Rutgers Kev Reacts to the iRacing announcement. This is my second take on this because I, uh, right after the announcement I went live on Twitch and just gave my hot take, and of course it didn't save the video. Probably because it was too short or probably because it had the same title as the video I made before the announcement. So this is my second attempt at it, which means it's not going to be as good as my first attempt because I'm basically going to repeat what I said before, which is never as good. So to give a quick update on me, uh, I have, no, I haven't made a video in a while. It's more, I can't say it's been because I've been too busy, even though I have been busy. I've had time to race. It's just when I've had time to race, I've decided to do my other hobbies. You know, it's the summertime. I like horse racing. I resub for World of Warcraft. I've been playing that. I've been playing kind of other games. Um, I still like iRacing. I'm still involved in the forums and what's going on. It's just uh, I don't really have motivation to race right now. So no videos. Uh, but there will be videos in the future. I'm interested in Le Mans and other things that are going on in iRacing. So um, don't give up hope yet. So based, so let's talk about what we're here for today. So iRacing for the last week or so has been hyping this big announcement. And the big announcement is iCar. They announced the uh, Audi 90 GTO, which was a uh, late 80s, early 90s uh, Trans Am car. And uh, the SCCA banned all-wheel technology, and Audi went to IMSA. IMSA. So this is, this is the Quattro all-wheel drive uh, from the 80s and 90s that uh, was very good in Trans Am during that time period. Now, uh, so they announced a car. And the car's available now. Uh, so the, the reason why I'm here and the reason why I'm making a video is because I came home from work on my lunch break specifically to come here and, and uh, look at the announcement and make a reaction video because it was a big announcement. And when they make a big announcement, you expect something big. And a classic car from the 90s with a partnership from Audi is sweet, but it's not, you know, it's not... Uh, a day it's a it's not a day night transition it's not a new surface model it's not a new weather model it's not you know it's not what i would call big okay uh so maybe some people it is big right um but here's the problem and here's the problem that i've been talking about on twitter for the last couple of days it's like when you hype a big announcement it doesn't matter what you say it's going to disappoint people you know when apple announces that they are going to have a big announcement we know it's coming it's an iphone right it's a new iphone right when iRacing hypes a big announcement we have no idea what's coming it could be anything and when you leave the speculation up to it, it could be anything it could even be a boat then you only are going to lead to disappointment you know for every person that wanted the Audi GTO, somebody wanted one of those uh, classic cars from the 70s, right? Wouldn't it be sweet to have, like, Danny, Sel Danny Sullivan's Indy 500 winning Indy car? Man, that would, be, that would be really sweet, right? Well, the the one person that wanted the Audi 90 GTO wanted that Indy car, right? So that person is disappointed, right? So... The video gets downvoted to hell. The video gets the, gets the community angry. You know, people are upset when it should be, we got a new car, sweet. Right? If they had said yesterday, we are going to announce a, a new car September 13th, tune in at 1 o'clock and stay tuned. Right? Now there's one day of hype, one day of speculation. The speculation is narrowed down to it is a new car. And people are going to be less disappointed. Well, th will that mean that no one's going to be uh, disappointed? Of course not. Because people are going to want oval cars. People are going to want the Indy car I talked about. People are going to want this car. People are going to want that car. People are, people are going to be like, well, why are we getting classic cars? We already have the Lotus 49. The Lotus 49 sucks. Right? Uh, you know, there's this series of cars. There's the British touring cars. Whatever, 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 whatever. And... Uh, but at least you narrow it down to, it's a car, right? Um, 
you know, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what iRacing can do, but they really shoot themselves in the foot when they hype a big announcement for over a week and the announcement is a car. You know, the the big announcement is something you get excited for, something you come home for work on your lunch break for. It's a car. It's a car. I don't really know what else to say other than it's a car. It's available now. Uh, it's available now, which is sweet. Uh, and there's going to be a part two announcement on September 20th, which is next Tuesday. So will there be another car? Will there be another track? We'll, f we'll find out. But, I mean, new content, sweet. Available now, sweet. Uh, it's a classic car. We don't really have a lot of classic cars in iRacing, sweet. All the hype surrounding it just leads to a, a disappointment. Okay? So that's uh, it's the second of my hot takes. Not as good as the first one, but uh, that's it. Okay, so so it's a car. It's a car. Um, stay tuned. I'll make a video of uh, I guess myself driving the car on Le Mans to kill two birds with one stone, and I'll just be really behind on every other YouTuber that already has a video of Le Mans, and I'm sure everybody else is going to have a video of the Audi driving on Le Mans as well. So yeah. <laughs> okay. Thanks for watching. That's the end of my commentary. Donk.